Hello EOC Minecrafters and welcome to week 15 of the EOC Minecraft server. I have a couple of things I want to show you. There's too much going on now to be able to show you everything and keep you up to date with it, but I want to give you a couple of interesting highlights. So let's go in the spawn hall and um, take a look at some of the changes. One of the things I like is that people have started using the message and suggestion system. So there was a uh, Zane and Cole both use this system to uh, take out a book, write down a message, sign it. Zane has a suggestion. Let's take a look at it here. There should be an area where students can build their own house and live in a community together. Well, that's a great idea, and I think that's something we're definitely going to look into. So Zane, I'm going to start scouting around for a good location for that. And then one of his ideas here is to leave creative mode off so you could buy, sell, or trade items needed in the community. And that's something that you know might be really uh, great to do. So let's figure out how that's going to work here on our server, and, um, and we'll see if we can make that uh, a reality. Thanks, Zane. And then Cole, I'm sad to say, is reporting that his fort that he built for his project got griefed. So just a reminder if you're looking around at other people's projects remember they're school projects don't change anything don't break anything if you break something and you're not sure how to fix it just tell me or tell the person and let them fix it and maybe give them a nice apology but please uh, leave other people's stuff alone and they'll leave your stuff alone all right so thanks for using the message system people I do want to show you a couple of changes uh, around here. Well, actually, one of them, we've had to add on a second level to the spawn hall. So uh, as newer areas come online here in the world, you may need to go downstairs uh, to find the teleport booth. Katiana had a project to build a Victorian-style church, and she has made fantastic progress on this. So it says, look at the church from above, and it says, the style of architecture used for this church is called a cruciform. Cruciforms are called that because they are shaped like a cross. Well, let's um, fly up and take a look here, see what she's talking about. Ah, so there's her church. It's got this main kind of hall and another hall that crosses it like a cross. So that's the cruciform architecture. And you can see she's got a couple other things going on here. A nice um, kitchen garden, uh, a little yard area, and another building. Maybe that's um, uh, where the, the person in charge lives. But it's a pretty cool build, and Katiana obviously took a lot of time and care with it. And it's just a, a really interesting space to wander around in. So I encourage you to take a look at this if you get a chance. I also want to show you the progress that Zane has made oops, on his western town. And this is really something. And Zane has taken a lot of time on this. So if you come to look at it, please be as respectful and careful as you can. So as we hop out of the teleport booth here, there's a gravel path to follow. And then there are many buildings and structures to explore. So over here, Zane's got his own church in his western town. We've also got some uh, shop fronts here. This looks like the lobby of a nice hotel. Look at this place. Unfortunately, we had a little glitch on the server where all our signs got erased, so I think Zane is working on putting the labeling back. We'll just um, take a look at things and figure them out as we can. This looks like uh, a general store where you might buy all these items. I'm just going to sneak up this, the ladder here. Got some sleeping quarters up here. Can look out. All right. Now you'll see in the distance there, past the uh, the hotel saloon area, there's something, some interesting structure. We're gonna go take a look at that too. 
First, let's poke our heads in here. Yeah, this looks like the saloon. But in addition to buildings in a western town, uh, Zane has tried to build some other structures that would fit uh, in the time period. So he's got a ship here that's kind of a hybrid sailing ship and steam-powered ship. Again, if you visit this, please be very careful. Don't change anything that Zane's got going on here. Don't open or close the hatches where the cannons are. And if you do go down here, make sure to close things after you when you're done. This looks like the weapons area. I'm going to go down this ladder here, see if we can find the engine. These look like the bunks. I'm thinking there was an engine room somewhere. Aha, here we go. So here is the steam engine um, that's part of this sailing ship. Zane also has another steam device from this time period. All right, where did I? Here. Left a hatch open somewhere. There it is. So um, we're just going to fly over and take a look at his locomotive. But that ship is really impressive. All right, and here is the steam locomotive, which is really impressively huge and nicely detailed. There's a fire in the in the steam box, place for the engineer. A light, a headlight. So pretty impressive work, Zane. And there's more here that we haven't seen. So if you are willing to be careful and respectful, come poke around in Zane's Western Town and see what he's been doing. One other thing I wanted to show you before we go today is that Sean and Beckett and a bunch of other people have been doing an interesting group build at the Mountain Outpost. And I'm not sure I'm going to know exactly how to get where they've been working. But they've been working on a PvP maze project. And see if we can find this somewhere along the railroad tracks. So, all right, here's part of it. They've got some interesting structures here. What they've done is they've defined the classes of fighters um, that would be in the PvP maze. So you can see the armaments um, and tools they'd have in various classes. Um, I think they've got us working on some kind of spawn machine or equipping machine over here for the players. And then the maze itself, I think, is back here. And you can see what they've done. We'll just drop down in here. And we've got um, this sort of maze of colored pillars and walls. I'm just going to fly up, cheat here to show you what it looks like. We've got a green section, a blue section, a red section, and a yellow section. And it is quite confusing. Oh, and these are the entrances for the different colors. So the teams would pop in on their colored area and um, you'd have the PvP competition right in here. So really cool looking work, Sean and Beckett, and I know a lot of other people have been working on this too. So fun to see. We'll have to try this out soon. Well, that's uh, the stuff that's going on in the uh, EOC Minecraft server, week 15. Come on and check it out if you're interested, and I hope to see you in world.